Hi, I'm Damien Darlington from Brit Floyd and I'm standing here on the stage at Red Rocks in Colorado, this amazing venue. I'm going to take you through some of my guitar tones and I use the Axe FX to uh, get all these tones and uh, I use some other gear as well but the Axe FX is always in there with every tone I have at some point. This is uh, the sound that I use for Run Like Hell and of course um, Run Like Hell was, was, would originally have been played on a, uh, a Telecaster, but I, I cheat a bit uh, for the sake of uh, you know, one less guitar to swap over. I have a, a, a trick via the MIDI pickup where I can sort of press a, a button and have, and have a drop detuning and kind of have the guitar sound like a tele, more like a Telecaster, even though it's a strap. <laughs> So the opening song in this uh, set list is, uh, is Breathe from the, the opening track from Dark Side of the Moon and uh, I'm, I'm playing the, uh, the sort of uh, the clean phaser. <laughs> So we've, we've got the solo sound from Sorrow, well, the big, the, uh, Sorrow as well here, the big solo at the end of the track. <laughs> And then we, we also we've got a track from the Division Bell album in the set at the moment, What Do You Want From Me? Uh, again, we get, we get to have a, I get to do the, the lead work in this track. So we got something like this. <laughs> That's, that's pure, that's pure Axe Effects, nothing else. That's, uh, everything about that sound is generated by the Axe Effects. We do a, a track called Yet Another Movie. I have a kind of sort of really sort of aggressive, clean sound. <laughs> The, the rhythm part, for, it's more for, taken from the live version of yet another movie. Edo gets to do all the, the, uh, the lead work in that one. I think he demonstrated it in another video. The intro to time, I get to do the... And all that stuff. And then the, we've got the, the, uh, the rhythm sound. Go 
little bit of phaser on there. We've also got a track from Animals in the set at the moment, um, a track called Pigs, and I get to do the really crunchy guitar, uh, crunchy gu uh, rhythm guitar parts in that. So. <laughs> Then we, at the end of uh, Pigs, there's a sort of a big, big, um, you know, dramatic, climactic guitar solo. <laughs> Another brick in the wall part two. I uh, I play the sort of a uh, the very sort of studio sounding, very very clean, compressed, um, clean rhythm sound for that, which is something like this. <laughs> And then we've got the solo. That's, of course, that's that very classic sort of layer upon layer of compression and limiting to make that sound so dense and have the sustain but not be too overdriven at the same time. We've got some. Uh, some sounds for comfortably numb. I make use, as you've probably seen here, I've got a MIDI pickup, so I make use of that. And then also, because I have a Roland VG8, I'm still using one of those after all these years. Get to have the, the Nashville tuning. For the, uh, for the choruses and, the, and the, the, the second verse. And then I get to do the epic solo at the end, you know, probably one of David Gilmour's finest guitar, guitar moments. We have uh, a climactic moment in the song where we bring the mirror ball down, all the lights like focus on the mirror ball, and I'd, for that part I add some extra delay. <laughs> Again, all, all the acts of X generating all, that, uh, all those delays, all the reverbs, all the chorus that, that make up that sound, and of course the amps and, and cabs that are emulating uh, David Gilmour's high watt setup. Part of what I do in Brit Floyd is I, I get to play all the lap steel parts, you know, that David Gilmour was uh, famous for doing. Um, uh, I get to play it on tracks such as A Great Gig in the Sky, One of These Days, High Hopes, to name a few. Uh, Shine on Six to Nine, of course, is another one. Um, so uh, I'm going to play you uh, the, the sound I use for the High Hopes solo here. <laughs>
one of these days is, a, is another big lap steel moment in the show. <laughs> Again, I'm sort of I'm adding some you know lots of delay and reverb to that phaser all sorts of things and I get to I'm set up expression pedals to add even more more uh, effects so I can do stuff like as you can, as you can hear it's a pretty li lively sound for great gig in the sky, I use a different lap steel to play this one. One that's tuned to an open G major rather than e, an E minor, as the other as as is required for the other track. So it's. An endless amount of delay and reverb on that as well to make it really sound sort of atmosphere, atmospheric uh, for, to uh, sort of fill out the sound on, on Great Gig uh, behind, behind the piano part. So it's been a pleasure demonstrating some of the tones that I uh, use with the Brit Floyd show and I uh, hope to see you guys out there on the road sometime at one of our shows.